y'all welcome back to my channel i am kina and i am back with another video so this hair is from a company called you nice hair i have their 22 inch body wave wig this wig is 180 percent density and this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal so i'm gonna go straight into details start to finish how i apply my wigs how i melt that lace you know give you all the details so from the beginning i did use some of my ruby kisses foundation in level 12 i don't think i showed you guys that but i will leave it in my description box below everything that i will be using i'm sorry everything that i will be using will be listed down there so make sure you guys go check that out if you guys want to purchase and also all of the information for this wig will be there links going directly to this company so make sure you guys go check it out all right so right here i am using my boho active my favorite glue and i'm doing three layers of that glue and i don't let the glue dry all the way clear before i lay the next layer i'm just going about it as soon as i see it going just a little bit clearer i'm adding the next layer and that's what i did and then after i got finished doing that i did lay the lace once it got clear so yes that is step one but no that's step two but step one is make sure you add some foundation to your lace so that it matches your skin tone okay y'all i did bleach the knots on this wig and i did pluck the frontal just a little bit not that much it wasn't too bad but i did have to pluck it some to make it look a little bit more natural so right here i am laying that lace y'all as you guys can see it looks so so good this is hd lace which is so so bomb like y'all i'm so in love with this lace this is so so nice like good lace is key y'all like that's key to having your install to look flawless you need some good lace period like that's just the truth about it but yeah y'all so after i get done laying this lace i'm gonna blow dry my hair my hair yes this is my hair <laughs> i'm gonna blow dry the um lace just for about five minutes and i switched between cool and hot and yeah y'all after that i'm gonna tie this down and let it dry some more y'all that is also a key make sure you guys tie your hair down like that is really what's going to make it really melt into your skin because without tying it down y'all it's it's not the same and honestly i did not used to tie my laces down i just used to go on through and just blow dry and finish it but tie your lace down y'all because i seen a huge difference in this application of this wig y'all for real so after that i am going to cut this lace and i am using my eyebrow archer you can get this from your beauty supply store or amazon like i said i will have everything linked below um and i like to use this because it don't give me those straight edges and you know once if you have straight edges it's gonna really show but if you have the jagged edges it's not gonna show that much so yeah y'all get your eyebrow archer and cut that lace and y'all i learned all these tricks from eric and tay so yeah y'all y'all know he the goop but yeah so right here i'm just cutting this lace from my my ear y'all this is the hardest part but take your time when you're doing this because you don't want to cut your ear please ladies be careful so right here i'm just removing some of that glue i have a little bit of alcohol and just dabbing that um on my skin just to make that glue come up a little bit not too much like girl you don't want to you don't want your lace to live so don't use a lot so after i get done cutting off this lace i am going to tie my hair down again and y'all another thing i did um apply this wig one side at a time so i applied one side and then i blow dried and then after that i did the glue on the other side and then um laid the lace and then blow dried so i did not do the 
full wig all at one time so that is another key so make sure you guys try that out and let me know um if your application is better once you use some of these little tips and things like that because i really want to know because y'all this like made my install so so good like i am so in love y'all i still have this wig on right now honey and it is bomb okay so right here i am taking some of that um got to be glued spray and i'm just dabbing that on the lace and y'all this help like if you have a little bit of that white showing from the glue dab a little bit of the got to be spray on your lace and that would just make it disappear y'all that is like oh my god y'all that is like the best 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 trick i have learned like girl i was like wow this is really looking like skin chill who would have known but y'all i decided to do a little side part and then um i'm gonna put some curls in this hair and i did use a little angled brush in the same foundation that i used on this lace i am gonna go down that part just so the part is more defined and things like that and y'all that is like the main thing and oh yeah this right here y'all i think i done told y'all to get this so many times so i hope y'all done went and got it because child listen this stuff right here is magic it's gonna make sure your hair is laid fried dyed and laid to the side okay so yeah y'all go get some of this this is a wax stick i got this from sally's but i will have a link below okay so yeah y'all make sure you guys get you one of these because this helps so much to lay my lace and just it makes it so so flat it makes it shiny like this is just so bomb like this is my best friend y'all i have to have this whenever i do my wigs i'm rambling y'all but i'm telling y'all this is the start to finish like we're gonna talk through this all right so let's finish all right here y'all i'm getting ready to do my baby hairs edges whatever you want to call it y'all so i am using my high comb and i'm going to flatten out the hair just so it's laying more flat and not just sticking up because that's going to help me lay the hairs and make it stay flat so yes y'all try this but girl do not burn yourself be careful if you can't do this don't do it because i don't got time for y'all to be burning y'all heads okay but yeah if you can do this try it out all right but be careful girl be careful
here i'm using my eyebrow archer again and i'm just cutting those baby hairs and y'all when you do your baby hairs you really have to mess with these hairs and erica tay said train them honey so you have to make those baby hairs go the way you want to go or however they want to go and just go with the flow so y'all this is like one of the biggest tips i have learned but i i feel like i cut my baby hairs a little bit too short to be doing this be careful when you do this but curl your baby hairs before you swoop them this is just going to make them um go ahead and curl and lay easier and swoop easier so yeah y'all i feel like I'm, I'm gonna try to find me a smaller flat iron for my baby hairs but I feel like I just cut them too short. I should have waited. I should have curled it first and then cut them. So do that, y'all. Don't um, cut them too short before you curl them. All right? Because, girl, don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. Uh, so after that, I'm going to take my Gots to Be Spray. I did not use my gel in this video, y'all. I only used the spray. Could you believe it? And I loved it. Like, girl just use the spray just use the spray it's not going to be all messy and gunky and chap why i don't know why i didn't do this before but girl just use the spray and when you're using the spray you're just going to have to hold those baby hairs down while you're swooping because you know you have to train them so get them to go how you want them to go or how, however they are going just let them go that way girl and just keep messing with it until you get it how you want it you have to keep on going back cutting whatever you have to do girl get them baby hairs in order all right but y'all this was like key like girl let me know let me know what y'all think because this changed my life right here girl i'm just really impressed but yeah y'all these are the keys that i have learned the step by steps that i took to lay my lace and y'all it was so flawless like girl i'm so in love i hope you guys are enjoying this video i hope that you guys found it to be helpful make sure you guys share this video and make sure you guys like and also leave me a comment because you know i do check them out and it also helps your girl out all right so yeah y'all and if you haven't subscribed already what you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that subscribe button okay why not sis it's summertime we about to be fine <laughs> but yeah y'all Thank you guys so much for watching. We are almost done with this little sleigh. I'm going to take my um, flat irons, curlers, whatever you want to call them, and throw some little curls in here. Y'all, I'm not good with curling hair, so hey, I'm, I'm just doing what I can do. But yeah, y'all, just going to throw some little curls in there and um, comb it out and that's about it but yeah y'all it turned out so cute this hair is so so bomb like i said the lace is just gorgeous i did not get that much of shedding out of this hair this hair didn't have any smell it's really really nice like you nice hair really did their thing because i appreciate this i appreciate laces like this wigs like this like it's just bomb so make sure you guys go check them out everything will be in my description box below so yeah y'all go and purchase this wig for the summertime so it can be fine fine all right and i will catch you guys in my next video but you know keep on watching because you need to see how this turns out honey all right all right
So we are done with this video. I'm just spraying a little bit of this coconut oil on my hair just to give it a little bit of shine. And y'all, we are done. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys go check out You Nice Hair. All right. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Like, I appreciate it. Love y'all. Bye.